This is code.org, and we are in my neighborhood.java. Check, there's the name of the file. Instantiate a painter object called my painter. So we've seen this before, and like always, guys, make sure to use your resources. You can check back in other lessons for more examples of this. But since we've done this before, I know it's a painter class, and we don't have access to it, but we know it is. So I put painter for the type of object. Now they want me to name the variable for the object, my painter, done. Now I have to do equals. And then how did we do this previously? Well, we called the, what's known as the constructor. First, I have to tell it new. And then what's the constructor? The constructor is going to be the same as the object name, right? So this is the data type. Constructor is going to be same thing, painter then parentheses, and a semicolon. What all this is telling the computer is, hi, computer, how are you? Just kidding. Uh, it tells the computer we are making a new object. What type of object? Oh, it's from the painter class. And again, we can't see the painter class, but it's here somewhere, and they're not giving us access. So use the painter class, and then equals new tells it what to run. And whatever this is, this is the constructor, it's what lets my painter use all of the things like move forward and stuff that are actually in the painter class. If that half makes sense, you're doing awesome. All right, let's keep going. Use the move and turn left methods. And again, this is hidden somewhere within this class, but we just got to trust that my painter can do this and we'll explore this more later. Use the move and turn left methods to navigate the my painter object to the cone. Okay. So I'm going to do this one line at a time. Honestly, I should have already hit run because typos and all of that, if I miss the parenthesis or a capital, everything breaks in code. So let me go ahead and go zoop. So far, so good. Nothing broke. All right. Now they want us to do move. So my painter, and make sure you capitalize the P. This is called camel case, lowercase m, capital P. It has to match whatever we put here. And I mean, you could have put Fred here if you wanted, but actually you couldn't. They asked you to use my painter for the object name. All right. So my painter dot move, blah, 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 parentheses, semicolon. Then what? Uh, and turn left. My painter dot turn left. Same deal. Parentheses, semicolon. And let's see what we got. Oh, we got it wrong. And this is why we test a lot, right? So obviously, they weren't giving us the full answer here. So don't think, yep, did it, done. Make sure you're paying attention to the examples. We're getting there, though. So it looks like I need to move over one more step. And this turn left definitely isn't enough, right? Because I only turn around. And I need to face the cone. So I think, let's do this a few more times. If the painter keeps turning left think we'll be facing the right way. And I'm going to test it again, because that's what's good to do with code. It's easier to debug when you find errors right away rather than after 20 more lines of code. Boom. Okay. And now it looks like we just need to move my printer dot move right up. up. Quipal. And we did it. And notice testing my painter. Painter is instantiated. Painter is at traffic cone. Painter is at traffic cone. Pretty cool. Onward.